Good morning, Ms. Lau Lilia. Good morning, classmates. Today, I am going to report about the hand gestures you should be using and their meaning. Learning objective is the student will be able to understand the different hand gestures. The student will be able to familiarize the importance of hand gestures. The student will be able to execute the learnings in the future. Objectives of this study, what are hand gestures so important? What are the most popular hand gestures? How can everyone use their hand gestures to go viral? Next is, facts about hand gestures. You're born to speak with your hands. Researchers found out that infants who use more than hand gestures at 18 months old have greater language abilities later on. Hand gestures speak to great intelligence. So, hinanganak tayo na gamitin ang ating kamay upang makipag-usap sa iba. So, yung mga baby pag pinapanganak, so, hindi pa sila marunong magsalita. So, habang lumalaki sila, ito yung ginagamit nila upang maintindihan natin kung ano yung gusto nila sabihin. Sabi din na kapag yung baby is 18 months old, at palaging gumagamit ng hand gestures and have a greater language ability pag laki nito. Next is, hand gestures make people listen to you. Spencer Kelly, Associate Professor of Psychology and Co-Director of the Center for Language and Brain at Colgate University, found that gestures make people pay attention to the acoustic of speech. Gali said gestures are not merely add on to language, they may be a fundamental part of it. So, pag sinabing acoustic of speech, sabi dito is, it is a analysis of speech that is study of the acoustical characteristics of speech, both normal and abnormal speech. And sabi din dito na yung gestures, uh, hindi lang siya parang uh, add-ons to language. So, ito ay pwedeng maging uh, fundamental part of it. Uh, parang siya, yung gestures natin or yung hand gestures is uh, uh, parang siya yung base ng language. Parang lang. Next is facts about hand gestures. We can help it. Hand gestures come to us naturally. Spencer even found that blind people use hand gestures when speaking with other blind people. So, siya uh, dito na yung hand gesture is natural na sa atin na ginagamit. Even daw blind people, ginagamit nila yung hand gesture kahit hindi naman nila nakikita yung isa isa. Baka, for example, kapag yung Pagtapik, pag tinapik mo yung isang tao, parang ganun, is a sign of hand gesture. So, pag sa atin namang mga tao na nakikita, minsan pag nagsabi tayo ng yes, gumagamit tayo ng okay sign or um, nag nagnunod yung ulo natin. Next is, gesturing helps you access memories. Using hand gesture while you speak not only helps other to remember what you say, it also helps you speak more quickly and effectively. So, dito yung sabi dito, gesturing helps you access memory. So, um, naalala ko nung naon, mayroon ako napanood na movie na parang yung babae is sumali siya sa quiz, beer, tapos tuwing nag-i-spell nag, nag, siya, parang yung kamay niya is tinatap niya sa my leg niya para maalala yung mga letters na words. Next is non-verbal non -verbal explanations help you understand more. One study found that for forcing children to gesture while they explain how to solve math problems actually help them learn new problem solving. So, minsan kapag katulad so, nang pamangkin ko kapag tinuturoan ng nanay niya, so, ginagamit niya po yung kamay niya. 
mas natututo po siyang uh, uh, natututo po siya kapag ginagamit niya sa kanya niya tapos uh, in-explain po kung ano yung gagawin sa kanya. Next is How to speak with your hand. Before we get into the top hand gestures you can, you can use, let's talk about using your hands appropriately. Use your hand gestures responsibly, safe gesturing on the So, dito, bago, bago natin putahan yung mga top hand gestures na ginagamit, so, yung may mga hand gestures na hindi appropriate, appropriately na ginagamit. Alam naman natin yung mga bad na hand gestures, so wag na natin yung uh, pag-aralan. Next is, stay in the box. I never want you to think it's in the box, What? but I do want you to gesture within the box. Appropriate, appropriate hand speaking space is from the top of your chest to the bottom of your waist. If you go outside this box, it's seen as distracting and out of control. Here's the, here's the difference. So, makikita naman po natin sa difference na kapag nasa inside the box yung hand gestures natin, mas makapag-focus yung mata ng mga manonood sa'yo or makikinig sa'yo. And yung dito naman po sa outside the box, parang nakaka-distract po siya dahil uh, parang kung saan-saan po napupunta yung kamay and kung yung manonood po, saan-saan din siya tumitingin. So, mas maganda kapag yung hand gesture is palaging nasa center or nasa inside the box. Yung hindi lumalagpas sa um, top of your chest and bottom of your waist. Next is hand gestures you should be using. Um, listing. The, list, the listing is the easiest and most basic hand gesture is numerical. Anytime you say a number, do the corresponding gestures. This makes your number easier to remember for the listener add movements and warmth to your body language and serve as a non-verbal anchor in the conversation. So, sabi dito is yung listing is the easiest na ginagamit. So, kapag nag-hand gestures tayo ng mga number, so, sabi lang natin na one, ilagay lang natin yung isang finger natin na nakataas. So, parang na, parang yung nasa picture po, par, yan po yung list. Next is everything. Want to make a big grand gesture? Then the everything gesture is your go-to. It is if you are sweeping across all of the ideas to be inclusive. So yung everything daw is parang winag winawipe mo lah, parang winawipe mo, parang ganon, gan, parang yung nasa picture. So alternate. This can be used also. Say you are wiping the slate clean or pushing something out of the new. So next is just a part. This gesture can be used to demonstrate a specific part of an idea. When you are talking about an aspect of something, this gesture can indicate that it is separate. So mostly to nakikita ko kapag uh, uh, yung pag may nagme-meeting sa mga movie ganon, Parang ginagamit sila itong gesture na to parang mm, meron silang pinopoint out na specific uh, part ng meeting. Parang ganito. Next is, I am magnanimous. When you have both of your hands apart and palms facing toward the audience, it is a very godlike pose. When it, use it when making a grand gesture. So, pag sinabing magnanimous, parang ikaw yung center, nasa center ka, tapos ikaw yung may kapangyarihan doon, parang gano'n. Next is you. Anytime you gesture into someone else's space or personal area, you tie them to your words. I like to do this with open hand or palm like in the picture below. Pointing is very aggressive. You can do the you gesture to make someone feel included or highlight that something you are talking about applies to the person you're speaking with. It's a great attention grabber if someone 
mind is wandering. So, so pag, uh, for example, sa classroom, kapag tagtatawag yung teacher na mag recite so, kinagamit nila yung palm nila uh, pag tinuturo yung estudyante. Hindi sila gumagamit ng pointing, fing- pointing finger as uh, hand gesture kasi parang aggressive siya tignan. So, gumagamit sila ng new gesture to make uh, uh, feel included or uh, mas, um, mas maganda tignan. Parang ganda. Next is me. Anytime we bring our hands in towards our heart or chest, we usually want to indicate to ourselves. I have even heard sneaky speaking coaches tell candidates to point towards themselves when talking about anything positive. Use it carefully. So, kapag tinuturo mo naman daw yung sarili mo, uh, gamitin mo yung both hands mo and uh, point your chest para uh, para um, to indicate uh, yung sarili mo. Next is come together. When you bring both of your hands together, it is a gesture of combining and it is a great way to symbolically show two forces coming together as one. You can even mesh or fold your hands together to show complete togetherness. So, ito yung ma- minsan nakikita natin sa mga um, political rally. Um, kapag nanonood ako ng mga balita, so, uh, pag na yung mga nagra-rally tapos may nagsasalita sa harap, so, ito yung madalas ko nakikita ang uh, hand gestures nila. Next is, the next hand gestures is stop. When you flash your palm at, some, at someone, you want them to pause or stop. You can do this while anyone is speaking and they, they will almost instantly be quiet. So, itong stop hand gestures, ano, um, talagang ito itong ginagamit sa mga pamangkin ko kapag medyo maiingay na sila and parag, palagi ko din itong nakikita sa uh, daan sa, pag may mga traffic in, traffic enforcer info, 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 kapag uh, sinisignalan nila yung mga sasakyan na mag-stop to ginagawa nila itong uh, hand gestures na to next is hurry up if you tell someone to hurry up you are telling them to do something more quickly than they were doing so, pag uh, mabagal yung isang tao, pag gusto mo silang uh, mas bilisan yung galaw nila, gawin mo lang itong sign na ito para um, bilisan nila yung galaw nila. Next is fine, okay, or good. Means it means in a satisfactory or pleasing manner or very well. So, ito yung ginagamit natin kapag nag tayo minsan, okay, pag Okay tayo, tinatanong tayo kung okay tayo and good kapag uh, uh, minsan pag kumakain, ganun. Pag mga sarap yung food, kumula tayo ng good time or okay time. Next is, I can't hear you. When trying to play any, my gesture can't hear some. So, eto minsan, um, na kikita ko to sa mga matatanda, uh, Minsan ginagamit din ito ng lola ko dati kapag hindi naririnig yung sinasabi ko or sinasabi ng ibang tao, uh, nilalagay niya yung kamay niya sa my ear, ear niya para uh, iparating na hindi niya naririnig yung sinasabi nila sa kanya. Next is pointing hands. So, pointing hands is a gesture specifying a direction from a person's body usually indicating a location, person, event, thing, or idea. So, etong pointing gestures na to is pag may uh, ipo, ipopoint ka na isang bagay, so, uh, ito yung ginagamit mong hand gesture, the pointing hand. Parang yung nasa picture lang po. Next is wave hand. So, a waving most commonly used to say hello or goodbye. So, uh, palagi natin itong ginagamit at palagi itong natin nakikita kapag uh, nag-hello tayo or nag-goodbye tayo sa isang tao, gumagamit din tayo ng hand gestures na to. Next is, so this is the alphabet hand gesture. So, 
yung lahat, eto nakapaskal dito yung uh, yung hand gestures and yung letter T. If gusto natin na uh, memorize to so pwede naman. Uh, next is I will play a video about the best hand gestures that people I are. So I just want to show you some of the best body language hand gestures that you can use to help you become a more effective leader. Think about this one first, the triangle. Whenever I put my hands in the triangle, just like this, I'm going to appear more intelligent and knowledgeable in what I have to say. So for example, today I want to talk to you about your body language and how you can become a better leader. Today, I want to help you become a better leader and talk about your body language, right? Just by me putting my hands just like this in a triangle, I'm not changing my voice, I'm just putting my hands in a triangle. People also call this the steeple. I just make it more simple, call it the triangle. But here's the thing, what if you were on a date and your hands are in the triangle and you say, I want that lobster roll, I, I want that spaghetti. You might seem a little bit too... Um, too overconfident, I will say. What you can do, think about the triangle, you can open it up a little bit more. You see, when you open up your hands as a leader, you appear a little bit more friendly, you're still super confident, but you are engaging your audience at the same time. And I'm sure that, now again, even though I'm standing up, you can do this in a, in a meeting, on a phone call, every single day with people. Don't think about this as who, oh, I just have to use this, let's say if I'm speaking in public. I'm sure you've seen this before, people are leaning back in their chairs and they're putting their hands in a triangle. So when you talk to people, right, think about how you are talking to them, because visually, people will have a different perception of you in a matter of two or three seconds, okay? So think about the triangle, you can close it or you can open it up. This one again, they call this one the basketball steeple, okay? Think about the coach, la, 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 they're saying something, but their hands are a little bit more open and they're inviting. At the same time, they're still super confident. If you want to, oh, one more thing. Have you noticed if I nod my head, you might want to nod as well. I am doing the same exact thing with my hands. So for example, I can say, today is how I'm just putting my hands up and down. Today, I want to talk to you about your body language and why it's so important for you to really learn about it a little bit more. So same thing. Visually, people will be a little bit more captivated because visually you'll be moving and it's towards them. If you want to appear more friendly, all you have to do is keep your palms facing up. So I can say, for example, hey, can you go to the grocery store today and we need some apples, bananas, and a bunch of strawberries. Now, this will be very different if I said, hey, can you go to the grocery store, we need some apples, bananas, and a bunch of strawberries. Your pointing is a little bit more direct, your open palms are a little bit more friendly. So if you are having a conversation with someone, right, someone will always say, hey, can you do this X, Y, and Z for me? But even if you open up your palms, hey, what do you think about this? From, hey, what do you think about this? Again, this is more direct, your point, this is a little bit more friendly. If you want to appear more assertive, all you have to do is cut. You can cut down, you can cut up, it's like you're gonna judo chop everywhere. Hey, can you go to the grocery store? We need some apples, bananas, and a bunch of strawberries. Today, I wanna to talk to you about your body language, your eyes, your arms, and everything in between, right? Look, if I cut my arms, I am just uh, asserting the words a little bit more confident, and it will make you a little bit more assertive. Here's the most important thing. You want to look at the flow of the movements. If you don't, I'm not saying you have to use this individually. If this feels very awkward for you, don't say, hey, I need this, 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 and this every single time. I just want you to try that out. But look at it this way. If I am more friendly, my arms or my body will flow a little bit more. If I want to be more assertive, my movements are more strict. I can still use the open palm and I can say, hey, can you, look, can you go to the grocery store, we need some apples, bananas, and a bunch of strawberries. My movements are still more strict, so if you want to appear, let's say, in a power position, you can stand up more rigid, your arms can move more strictly, and you will emphasize your words and whatever you say in a more confident but assertive way. If you want to appear a little bit more relaxed, your body will start to flow a little bit more, so it's more of a conversational tone. 
One last thing that I want to teach you guys. You see when I put my hands in a circle like this, it feels like I have an insight I just want to tell you about right now. It doesn't matter what it is. Today, my cat woke up and she did this one thing. Look, you just put your hands in a circle. And there's this one thing I just want to tell you about is this insight that you have. You see, people can have a perception of you just like that. People can have a perception of you just like that. This is where my report ends. Thank you for listening.